Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek and I'm working for the company iCare. And in this video tutorial I will show you how to use the CSI Machinery Health Analyzer to perform synchronous analysis up to four channels. But before starting the procedure, let's take a quick look to some theory and to explain what is synchronous analysis. So, normally when fibration data is measured, a process called average is executed. Now, during data collection, a fibration channel is coming in, a period of a in the time domain is collected called a snapshot and based on this snapshot normally a spectrum is calculated. This process is repeated several times and then all the spectra are averaged and the final spectrum will be stored and it will be an average spectrum. Now the starting point of the waveform of the snapshot is more or less random but in synchronous analysis this is different. The starting moment of the snapshot is always at the moment that the tag pulse is coming in, so it's always on the same position of the shaft. And instead of doing averaging on the spectra, we will do averaging on the waveform. Now, because the waveform is always starting when the tag pulse is coming in and the position of the shaft is always the same, all the vibration data related with the shaft speed, and that is called synchrone data, will be represented in the same way and at the same moment. However, all data that is coming from other shafts or from bearing problems, for example, they will always happen at different moments in time. Now, if we average this, the synchrone data at the end is still very dominant, but all the non-synchrone data is out of the stored waveform, is averaged out. So this technique especially is used to focus on what is synchrone data and to eliminate everything that is non-synchrone. Now, if this is a little bit too theoretical, let's take a look to a live example. We have a gearbox with five shafts, one input shaft with 22 teeth, connected to a second shaft with 34 teeth, this one is connected to another one with 34 teeth, and those two shafts are connected to smaller shafts with 70 teeth, and those two shafts are the output. So, one input and two output shafts. This is a spectrum measured on the input, and as you see, there is quite a lot of energy in the spectrum, but also a lot of noise. So, something bad is going on, but it's rather difficult to find the reason, the root cause of all this energy. If we do synchrone analysis, and now the tag is installed on the input shaft, so all the data that you see here is purely data related to the input shaft and all the other data is eliminated from the spectrum. We still see the gear mesh frequency, the harmonics and a little bit sidebands but not too much. However, exactly the same measurement point but now the photo tag pulse is connected to do the output shaft we see the gear mesh and a lot of sidebands. So all the energy is coming from the sidebands and in reality this was because there was severe wear on the output gears. Now let's take a look how to do it with the data collector. So what you're seeing now in front of you is the home screen of the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. First of all, we're going to collect regular normal data with the normal average process and the stored data will be a spectrum that contains synchrone and non-synchrone information. In this example, it's measured in the 50 Hz world on an electrical motor with a big peak on 2 times the line frequency. In the 50 Hz world, 2 times the line frequency is 100 Hz. 
The one and a third is of course non-synchron data, so in normal averages it will be present in the stored spectra. However, if we apply the synchron analysis methodology, the 100 hertz will disappear. So let's take a look. On the home screen of the analyzer, go to F7, Advanced Analyze, go to F1, Manual Analyze, and as you can see here, I will measure from 0 till 2000 hertz, 1600 lines with 6 averages on 4 channels. I will start the machine now. and I will collect data. The six averages are done and if I make now a zoom on channel A with F11 expand axis and I go to the first peak I go to Alt and cursor type I put it on moving harmonics you see that this peak is not an harmonic of running speed so I go to the second peak and this is our 100 Hertz more than 2 millimeters per second now let's collect the same data with synchronous analysis so I go to the back I go to the home screen of the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer I go to Advanced Analyze, I go to F7 More Experts and here F9 Synchronous Analysis. Normally you can store data collection immediately but to be sure that we will collect data on four channels I go to Manual Analyze to verify the setup. And what do I see in the setup from 0 till 2000 Hz, 1600 lines synchronous time average is set to zero that means he will collect data till the user stop the averaging process and four sensors are active so I will start the machine and during data collection I will make a zoom in this range to see it better and you see the 50 Hertz or 49 is staying stable but the 100 Hertz is disappearing from the spectrum so before it was more than 2 millimeters now it's closed to zero so if you see that the data is stable you can stop the process by clicking F9 stop and what is left is the imbalance value and all the non-synchron data is eliminated from the spectrum. This data can now be stored in the job mode by pushing F9 store data. We are now at the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information about iCare and our products, please visit our website or drop an email to one of the following emails. Thank you. Have a nice day.